Yo, what's up guys? Horse Costa here, and we are back here in Destiny, and I'm going to be showing you guys where and how to do the new Queen's Wrath bounties, and so first off, you're going to want to go to the Queen's Emissary in the event hall, you know, where Iron Banner normally is, and you're going to want to go pick up these bounties. Now, just so you know, it does say day available on day one, day two, day three, and day four, and this patch was supposed to come out on Tuesday. So technically, by that time frame, we are on day four. So that's why we have all four available. If we were doing this on Tuesday, then we would just have the first one available. So hopefully that makes sense to everybody. It should. And so we should get those other two tomorrow, which is Saturday and Sunday. And then we'll be able to do all of them over again on Monday before the reset. And then House of Wolves comes out. And we'll see if anything changes from there. So, first off, you're going to want to pick up those four bounties and you want to head over to the Forgotten Shore in the Cosmodrome on Earth. And so you're going to see this little message that just popped up right there. It says, the wolves are prowling. And so what you're going to do when the wolves are prowling, you're going to want to look around and a drop ship should be dropping off some fallen. You're going to want to run over to the drop ship and there should be um, some scorch, yeah, I think they're called scorch captains. And there's two of them, they're holding uh, scorch cannons. You're going to want to kill those guys and pick up the Scorch Cannons. Um, they aren't too difficult to kill, as you can see here. Reload the shotgun. Um, super pretty much took them out from like a little over half health. You want to pick up the Scorch Cannon and then just have a lot of fun with it. Note, you cannot melee with the Scorch Cannon. That's why I dropped it and then meleeed that guy. I didn't want to waste a rocket on him. But anyways, uh, a drop ship will come in and it'll drop some waves and you're just going to want to go through those waves, killing everything in the waves. It is not the easiest thing in the world. They do hurt, and they have quite a bit of health. And then on the final wave, the boss will come out, and you don't want to kill the boss. That's what we're doing right here. And that is what your target is in your bounty, is killing the boss. Now, this first one, he's very similar to a, um, a public event captain eliminate target type thing. He has quite a bit of health and you need multiple people shooting him to keep his shield down because in the time it takes to re reload, you could you, his shield go back up. And then it's going to give you this little thing see down there in the corner called an ether key. And you're going to it's going to say uh fallen treasure o or is near or something like that. Uh you're going to want to go looking around. I was with my friend here and I was looking around and he's like, "Hey, hey, come back, come back. It's over here." So, you know, um see me turn around here in just a second. I had done one of these earlier and that's why I went to that ship because that's where it was before. It is not going to be in the same spot every time. And so you just come up here and you grab it. Alright, then you're going to want to head over to Skywatch just around the corner in, uh, in Cosmodrome. And on this one, same thing, the wolves are prowling, you'll see a drop ship come in, start dropping people off, and it's pretty much rinse and repeat until you get to the boss on everyone. And each boss is a little bit different. I wouldn't really call him boss, maybe like a mini boss. But yeah, you want to go over here, take out the Scorch Cannon captains, and then pick up the Scorch Cannon. I think I'm my super ready again. Yeah, I did. You want to pick up that Scorch Cannon and just go to town again, have fun. You know, um, Scorch Cannon's pretty fun. And just to note, um, you can stick the uh, projectile to them and it'll blow them up. I mean, like, you shoot it and it'll stick if you're holding the trigger down and then when you release it, see like that did right there. All right, anyways, so the uh, the boss here is a uh, servitor and he is your target. And by the way this one went versus the other one, I think you're actually, it's designed that you do this one first and then that one even though the bounty is the other way around. Then you're going to head to Venus in the Ember Caves here and um, yeah, uh, just do the same thing over again. Now this one has a third Scorch Captain. You see him there to my left? And um, I took him out, he drops the Scorch Cannon, and it makes and it's right before the boss wave. So you get to pick that up, and then you'll see me use it here on the boss in a second. But yeah, so, um, so yeah, this boss is pretty much the same thing as the one at the Forgotten Shore. His shield regenerates pretty quickly, but he goes invisible. And when these guys go invisible, they go invisible. I mean, like, invisible. Like, you cannot see them. And then, so once you get done with this one, this is where the chest was for us, but it's going to be different spots every time. But after you get done with this one, you want to go right around the corner to the Vex Citadel, and that's where the next one should be. 
This one was already going on when we got here, so you're going to see me come up here and just swoop up this guy's Scorch Cannon. Yeah. I did that. Didn't even shoot at the guy. Yeah, I took the Scorch Cannon. That's how I roll. But, you know, I felt bad, and so once this wave was finished, I was like, here, buddy, you can have it back. I'm so sorry. Now, uh, the final boss on this one was pretty easy. He's a dreg, so not that hard to kill. Um, I mean, yeah, that, that's pretty self-explanatory there. The, uh, the video pretty much shows it all. And then here, the chest spawned right across for us. And so, just I left these in the video just to show you guys these are a possible spot. You know, I was looking around for it, and I was like, huh, you're kidding me, it's right here. And, um, and yeah, so, chest is right here. See us take a second, we're trying to get the, uh, the people to see that we are over here with the chest. Unfortunately, um, I mean, fortunately, the, the warlock gets here, he sees it, but the hunter never sees it. He, um, slipping off rocks, trying to jump up there and everything, and, uh, never got it. But you're going to want to come back and then turn in all four of them. And with turning in all four of these in one day, it got me to, I think, like one and a half with uh, Queen's Wrath rank. And you'd be able to buy the uh, the emblems from there on. And then the shaders. Now, that is all we see for right now is emblems and shaders as the rewards that you can buy. Who knows? Maybe later on there will be weapons in there. I mean, we, we've seen just from the, the trailers and stuff of there being weapons in there in the Vestian Outpost with Petra. So, um... So, yeah, uh, that's about it. Um, go out there and get hunting, guys. Uh, like always, rate, comment, subscribe. And I'm Costly, and I'm out.